Welcome back to Excel with Mark and today what we're going to be looking at is how we can quickly and easily create a to-do list that will change all the colours, show you things that are high priority, things that are low priority and things that you need to be particularly looking at depending on their due date or if they are overdue. So let's get started. Starting up in the top corner then we're going to start here and we're going to put the total um, tasks, like how many things do we have in total. We could do the due today. And we can do overdue. So we have a couple of things there that we are starting to look at. And then we can come into here, we can press the control and one. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pop a little border around this one, uh, both on the inside and the outside, like so. And then make that a little bit smaller on that one. Looking underneath, then what we want to start to look at now is the what is it that we need to be starting to look at for the information that we want. So first of all, we want to know what the task is, then potentially the category, and then the deadline, priority. So if we have anything that's high priority, low priority, so on and so on, we can change that. Um, do we have any comments that we need to make or anything that we kind of don't know or would like to know and that we can just add on and the stairs. So we need to know if the item or the task is completed, not started or in progress. They're the kind of things that we're going to be looking at on this one. And what we could do is just make the comments a little bit bigger there. Uh, make the prior a little bit bigger, make the deadline a bit bigger. And that shouldn't be too bad. If we just insert... Um, just insert another row there and then we'll just put the to-do list there and then what we can do is if we highlight all of these press the control and one again we can use this alignment feature here and then for the horizontal part we can do it centered across the section there we go so it'll highlight it there for us rather than using the merge and center so what we can do is then if we were to get that and say just put that as a maybe a light grey. So once we've got this we can easily break this down now then. So if we were to use and we'll just do it down to line 31. Um, the control on 1 again and we'll go for say in the inside we'll go for a little bit thinner and on the outline we'll go for a little bit thicker there. So it don't make too much of a difference but it just makes it enough. And then if we say within the middle, we can maybe make it a, a lighter grey there, just so we can see what's what and that. Again, we'll make this a little bit of a lighter grey up here as well, just so we've got a couple of things. And up above the comments here, what we'll do is how many of the tasks are completed. In progress and not started. And then at the side, obviously, we need to put a little box there just to say what everything is. But um, we'll just give it a little box there. All complete. And do, 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 colour that in. So we're good. But now what we can do at the side here is, if, obviously, when we're looking at the priorities, we want to know what's the high priority. Okay, so if anything, oh, I'll just pop that down. So if anything's a high priority for whatever reason, um, then we'll be able to pop that in there and we'll be able to count that easy enough and see where that is. Um, do, do, do. Like so. Okay. So uh, just to make it a little bit near, what I'll do is I'll get rid of that there. So it just blends in and we'll push all this down one. So what we can start to work on now then is the... Uh, amount of things that we need to add in and any list that we want to do so within this part here within the status what we would start to look at or maybe potentially we'll start to look at is what is it so do we want it to be not started complete or in progress would be the things that we would look at so what we can do at this point then is we can select the role that we have we can go to data and we can go to data validation once we've clicked into this, we get this little pop-up here. So we're going to change this allow and we're going to change it to a list. And what we want to do now is not started. In progress. Ah. And complete. 
Once we click OK at this point then, we can see that this little drop down arrow kind of appears here. We can click into that and then from here we can see what we've just put. So we have the in progress and we have the complete and so on and so on. But as we move down then we can kind of add them and do what we need to do. But, but a way that we can make this even better is when we hit these particular values we can get the cells to change into different colours. So again highlighting where we are there we can go into home and we can use conditional formatting. We can highlight the cell rules and they're going to say equal to. So if we have something that is not started, we'll leave it as just a red for now. But then we can say, say not started, like so. So we have the red. When we have the second drop down, if we to say in progress, we can use that again on the conditional format and we can say equal to. And we can say in progress, but this one, we're going to put this as the yellow, like so. And then for the third one, you probably guessed it, for the completed, conditional formatting and equal to. We can change this one to the green and then complete. Oh, there we are, complete. So you can see there that we have three different colors. And this will apply then all the way down as we start to work on these things and we change the colors for them so if we just say not started for now and then we can go for that so at the same time we want to know how many tasks that we currently have on the go so we can click into there and we can press the equals and we can see that just by putting in count we have all these different kind of numbers and different things at this point then we can use the count a function and then what we can do is select all of this area here and then we can just click OK. So we can see that total tasks are zero currently but if we were to input something into this so say um, renew passport and then press enter we can see that the total task there goes up by one and the same time as well if we were to get rid of that we can see the total task goes down. So we have the new passport there again if you have any particular categories that you have that you would like to put these into um, we can do this again in a different way so you can set up a setting sheet and what you can do at this point then is you can put into different categories oh when i press on that so within these categories now then what we can do is if we put that in bold and we underline it then we can say that all the different categories that we might have within our household for instance so we can say this is just general admin we can say that's a household task we have that's just so you can see that we have quite a big list there and we have quite a few different things. So keeping that list on the setting sheet there, we can select the category here that we have and we can go over to data, select the data validation as we did before and again we get the pop-up here. This time then when we click the allow, we're going to click a list but now we're going to click the source button here. Selecting the settings and we're going to select down here for all the different categories that we have. We can press enter at that point and OK. And now when we get the drop down list, we can see that we have all the different ones that we have and that we've picked before. So clearing that out then we can just press the uh, delete button and that will get rid of that for us. And again we can just clear them out of the cell, making it blank, just making it nice and easy and we'll just fill in this first one here. So if we have a deadline here, we can say... Um, Today is the 18th of January, so we can say the deadline is the 20th of the January. Oh, 2023, wishing away a year. And what we can do now is we can say, do we have anything that is due today or anything that is due later? Um, and again, you can kind of change this. So when you have all this selected here, you can change the home and using conditional format in here. You can highlight the cell rules and we can say, uh, is it equal to say today's date? So if it's, if we say today's date just to start with, um, we can put this as a yellow because we kind of need to get on with that today. And then in the box here, we can put equals today 
and then an open and a closed bracket. Pressing enter, okay, it doesn't do anything because the date is not equal to today, but if we were to change this there, then you can see that the box there would change to the yellow because it's equal to today's date, which means that it's due today. So what we can do is select this and use the conditional format and select. So if it's less than equals less than today, we can say that it would be green. And what we can do then is if we can say conditional format and highlight cells greater than and again click in today then open and close then we can fill that with the uh, red because we know that that's bad and that we're overdue on that particular one so what we can do now then to get rid of this green part here is if we select we can set up a rule where we are looking for blank so we can say new rule in this part here and we can say format only cells that contain and we can say it blanks and then we have to format it here so we can say format and we can say fill change it to white click the ok button click ok and we can see that now all the cells there have gone white so all we're going to do on this one is just put in high priority um, so if we change the format of this one change our rules equal to and then we say high and we're going to leave that again. We'll leave that just the kind of plain red. You can go in and customize that if you need to do. Um, and let's just make this the nice little grey. And we add up there. And now what we can say is on this high priority one, it's uh, equals if, uh, sorry, equals count. And then we can go down and we can say count if. And we can say within the priority range like so if the criteria is equal to high oh when I can spell do, 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 like so and then we can close the brackets press that what that will do now is count anything in there so if we put this as high then we can see that that count goes up there and that we have the one that will appear for us there and we'll just change this to that so that it stands out a little bit more again if you want to do with this what you can do is you can go to the data uh, you can go to the data validation and uh, once I, I'll just make sure I've got everything selected you can go to data, go to data validation and you can click in the list and you can click in high and again you can add any more of these if you want to do but then it just takes away that kind of need for spelling so you can just quickly click the high and then it will save anything kind of spelling errors or anything like that and again it'll appear all the way down so as you do it you can see that you have high priority items all the way down there nice and easy and if you need to do you can just delete them out again nice and easy any comments that you want to do um so you want new for like so so and then we can see that we have the not started the in progress and the completed there as we have so you can see at this point on the end bit in the status we have the not started we have the in progress and we have the complete so up here we can see all the different things that we have so what we need to do now is just fill these in so we can say oh, when i select the right one we can say count if and then we want to select the range down here because that's where we uh, wanted to look at and we can say criteria and with the brackets we can say complete close and close that so we have one complete and for the next one we have the count F again select down there the criteria will be in in progress and not started. Count if and status down there and uh. so now as you are working down you can see that as you select stuff and you put it in um, it will add up all the different ones up there and it'll kind of give you an idea of where you are on them things like that so the last part that we have now then is the deadline and we want to know if anything has a deadline higher than today's date so what we can do here is we can put count 
and then uh, go down if we put count if we have the range here so we can select the deadline as we go down and then for the criteria it's a little bit odd as this one but we need to put it in brackets and we want to say that it's higher than today's date and I can spell like so and we can see that it gives us the open bracket we want a close bracket and now we need to close the whole thing up together press an enter and we can see zero but at this point if we have a deadline say down here that we put in as the tomorrow's date and we'll press enter we can see that the overdue goes up by one there so if you have any questions on how to create anything of this sort or any of the things that we've put in here today then don't forget to give us a shout uh, hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you found something interesting within this and if you have any questions at all don't forget to give us a shout thank you for watching and we will hopefully see you again soon